control. A uh, homeowner here uh, tells me that he's having problems with uh, pack rats uh, nibbling on uh, uh, vegetation and uh, peppers and such, uh, some of the produce. So I, what I'm going to do is place a uh, bait station in this area and uh, typically uh, in three to four days there'll be some hits on it and uh, eventually the uh, rodent will succumb. Uh, I also use at times these glue boards, not in this instance, these are not particularly good for outdoor use, so we're going to stick with the bait station. What I do is secure the bait into the box, close it up, and place it in an area that's not particularly accessible to pets and children and such. Typically, you like to place something on top of it, a rock, even a pot will do. Give it a little camouflage. And typically within a day or two, the run will start nibbling on it. They follow set paths and habits. And it, once it finds food in it, it will continue to go back there until it has ingested enough to uh, eliminate it. If you live in the Phoenix, Arizona Valley, you know the desert pests are abundant. From scorpions, cockroaches, ants and spiders, to bedbugs, bees, wasps, and hornets. Then there's the pesky rodents. Rats, mice, gophers, roof rats, and pack rats. If you're tired of creepy crawly pests invading your home or business property in the Phoenix, Arizona Valley, give me a call at 602-430-7378. With more than 23 years experience as a pest control exterminator in Maricopa County and the Phoenix Valley, including Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Goodyear, Surprise, Glendale, and Peoria. So if it crawls, give me a call at 602-430-7378 or visit my website at earlybirdpest.net.